welcome back to my youtube channel today we will be discussing how exactly we will be using the configuration files in playwright so if you remember while initializing the project playwright.config.js file was created in this file we have all the configuration of the project so i will be discussing some of the important configuration used in this file and in later series uh, we will be discussing how exactly we can make use of it and so on. okay so one of the important uh, config is test directory in this directory you are keeping all your tests so make sure you are pointing out to that particular directory okay so suppose if i am keeping the tests uh, under test folder right so you need to specify that okay and sometimes you are keeping some hierarchical fol folders like subfolders you are creating so make sure the path is correct else you will not it will not be picking up the test while execution by default the timeout which is specified is 30 seconds it's mul multiple of 30 okay but it ca you can set it to any value of your preference then you will see uh, there are retries mentioned right so currently it is two so when any test case is failing okay and it is failing and it's not meeting any condition so that time it will retry right it will try to check whether the condition it is met or not so the, the, the by default the value which we have given is two right then uh, in previous uh, discussion as well uh, i mentioned that we play right has a default html uh, report which we have seen here okay so currently we are using html but you can use any kind of uh, reporter like line reporter spec reporter dot reporter or even the earlier reporters we will be seeing all that in later discussion right then uh you will uh, see a use key under this you will find a base ur which is by default commented out okay you will make use of base url to globally specify the the test url suppose i want to test one particular url that time you will be specifying here okay and need not to specify again and again in your test right then you can also use some of the important features like if you want to take screenshot suppose right so you can mention that you have to specify this value it can be on off or only on failures so usually i have seen people keeping it as only on failures so whenever test is failing it will capture the screenshot right so similarly you can turn on the trace okay so in in first retry it will start tracing the logs and so then we have one important configuration which is for browser okay the number of browsers you can specify uh, is like chromium firefox webkit and as well as some of the mobile uh, browsers as well and some common browsers like chrome and microsoft edge i want you to look into uh, one of the uh, good feature of uh, microsoft which uh, is provided here if you can see and ho hover on this desktop chrome and click on this you will be navigating to types.d.ts files and you will see all the supported devices or emulators by playwright so you can make use of any of these devices in your test configuration so this is one of the powerful feature of playwright okay and uh, all together this is uh, also important when you are planning to do any compatibility testing i can uh, um, uncomment these uh, browsers as well right so what would happen is that one test will be running on multiple browser sets okay for now i'm just keeping chromium so i want to run you know, one test to save time 
and uh, you can specify the output directory support and this is uh, very important when you are uh, using the screenshot tag right so when you are using screenshot you can also specify the output directory so uh, uh, when test is failing it will capture the uh, uh, results in under the test hyphen result we can quickly see this as well okay let me run this. So not on only failure, we will make it as one. So in all the cases, it will capture the screenshot, right? And by default, uh, when you are giving this uh, on feature or any uh, flag you are using, it will record the results under test hyphen results but you can also specify this. Suppose okay. test, I can make it as test output, great. So let me run this, okay. Take few seconds. It has invoked the Chromium browser and it will navigate to this site and verify the title. That's it, right? Now, if you can see test output, right? Test output folder is created. Under this, we have the screenshot. This is the screenshot it has taken, right? Also, you can, uh, one of the important feature is that you can always pass the parameters as well. Suppose I wanted to generate the reports uh, in the JSON format, right? So I can always specify that, right? So you have to use this parameter hyphen hyphen reporter equal to JSON. So it will create a JSON file as well, right? Let me create this or run this. So it has given me the JSON results, right? Also, if suppose I want to specify the, uh, the browser itself, I want to run on particular browser. Suppose I have uh, multiple browser configuration, but I want to run a uh, test on one particular browser itself. So I can do that very easily by specifying the, the project, right? So it is like Chromium, Chromium right? So it's hyphen hyphen project equal to the browser name itself. Okay, hit enter. So it has invoked the Chromium browser only, even though the configuration was with two browsers. Let's say if I want to invoke with the Firefox, I have to just change the pro project and with any of these browser settings. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.